Hello there everybody, today's video is going to be updated how to add a domain name to your Minecraft server. I did make this video a while ago, but a few things have been changed, so I just wanted to address it in a new video. So we're going to be using Namecheap uh, to add our domain, and this is uh, paid domains. So if you guys want to check out free domains, you can uh, look at the video on the top right hand corner of the screen. That would take you to my other video of using Freenom. Uh, but this is Namecheap, so you do have to purchase the domain. You can uh, check out my link down in the description for Namecheap and then we can go ahead and search our domain name that we want. So this is whatever you have your name for your Minecraft server. For the example I'm going to do like a uh, striking lands or something right so uh, that would be searching up your domain name and then you can check if it's available. Uh, this one is so here's a .com and here's .net so these are the most common ones down here and so sometimes they are a bit cheaper because they're a bit of off-brand domains but once you have bought your specific domain you can go to your account manager and then here is that specific domain and we can go to manage and so then we need to go to advanced DNS tab and this is where you're going to be adding all your specific records for your server if you already have a few in here by default uh, when you buy the domain you can go ahead and delete those because you do not need them and then we need to go to add new record so we can add an a record and then the host the name in here you can put in like mc or you could put in play uh, or something along those lines so that would indicate uh, the play before your domain so you do play.mctest.xyz that would be your specific domain name that you would enter to your minecraft server if you don't want to have anything before, you could just do the at symbol and then you could just use your base domain name uh, to enter your server. So I'm going to do two examples of each just to show you guys uh, how you can do it. So we'll start off with the, just the at symbol. Then the value is going to be your specific IP address of your Minecraft server. So I'm using Revive Node here. If you want to check them out, uh, you can use my code STRIKER to save 15% off your purchases at Revive Node. So make sure you go check it out if you do need a Minecraft server. So here we have our specific IP address. I'm going to go ahead and click it and it will copy that for us. And then we can paste that in and then you need to remove the port because it only accepts the uh, normal IPv4 address um, and then that would be good. If you do have a dedicated IP or uh, the default port of 25565, you're pretty much done at this point. You just need to put in your IP address and click save and you're pretty much set. Um, but in my case, I do not have a 25565 port, so we need to add another record. And so this is going to be the SRV record. So you can scroll down, click SRV, and then this is going to be a little bit tricky, but just follow along with my steps. The service is going to be underscore Minecraft. The protocol is going to be underscore TCP. Priority is going to be zero. Uh, weight can be zero. And then the port is going to be the port of our server. So this is 2192 in our case. So that you would put in the port of your specific Minecraft server. So 2192 is mine. And then the target. So the target is going to be your specific domain name uh, that you have. So this would be mctest uh, we.xyz. Go ahead and just input the target right there and hit save changes. So once these have been saved, it will take about maybe 10, 15 minutes for it to register. So they are not immediate. So just be patient and wait for them to f finish registering and then you can enter it to your Minecraft. Uh, but I'm going to be adding my second example. So the second example is going to be a little bit different. So this one is going to be using a uh, subdomain. So I'm going to do a uh, play. So this would be play.mctestxyz. So now I pretty much just do the same thing. Here's the IP address. Yes, we'll click save. So now we need the add the second SRV record as well. So the service is going to be the same underscore Minecraft and then the protocol is going to be different. So pay attention to this guys. So it's going to be underscore TCP and then we need a dot and then play. So the play represents whatever uh, subdomain in the A record that you have. The reason that this this first one that we added doesn't have anything is because we're using the at symbol which represents just the base domain name. So if you were to change uh, the first A record to MC, uh, you would also need to change this TCP to MC. So these have to match guys, so be aware of that. 
So I'm going to change this back to play, and then we can just do play right here. Same thing is going to be priority zero, weight zero, and then port, same port for me, 2192. Your target is going to be your base domain with the, the play in front of it or whatever name that you had. So this would be play dot and then our domain name. So uh, mctest.xyz. So there we go. So then as you see right here, play is in front of it. So all that needs to match. If this, again, if this was mc, then this would, on the TCP would need to change to mc. And then the very beginning right here of the target would need to change to MC. So now everything is matched. So we got play here, play there, and play there. So now we can save all changes. And that is our second uh, A record as well as SRV. So now we can just wait a few minutes and test it out on our Minecraft. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. Alrighty, back on our Minecraft, we can go ahead and test out our domain name now. So here is the number IP I added, this is just the, the base one, and just make sure everything is working. Now we can click add server, I'm just going to call this a domain domain name and then now we can actually input our specific uh, domain now so mine is just mctestv.xyz and let's see and there we go that is actually bringing it up so now our domain is registered let's go ahead and check uh, to make sure that the other one is working so that would be play dot and then our domain name and we'll go ahead and test out so all of those are working perfectly so let's go ahead and join this one and we'll see what happens and there we go we just joined the server perfect and now our second one this is the one with play and let's go ahead and join and that uh, second one and see what that is looking like and there we go we just joined the game so that is working perfectly guys so hope you did enjoy let me know if you have any questions down below i will see you guys in the next video have yourselves a wonderful holiday peace out